What's going on everybody, Ramon Paris here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys some content here on this channel that is for the very first time strictly makeup related. I'm very excited to be recording this video for you guys today. I have been wanting to do makeup content on this channel for such a long time now and today I am finally coming to you guys with my very first um, makeup related, strictly makeup related content on my channel. I am very, very, very excited about this and I hope that you guys are just as excited to watch. Uh, today, I am going to be recreating Jackie Ina's palette reveal look that she did in her um, in her video where she, where she released the Jackie Ina palette that I'm very excited to be doing here with you guys. Um, if you follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, uh, you guys know that I have been raving about her palette lately. I just, I, I used it the other day when I went to dinner with my friends and I rediscovered my love for it. I thought this would be a great thing to do to kind of show appreciation for Jackie and all that she does for um, black women in the beauty community and black dark skinned people in the beauty community in general. Um, I believe in Jackie and supremacy here on this channel. Um, so if you're interested in that, please stick around. Yeah, without further ado, let's roll the Before I start this video, like really start the video, I want to say if you're not following me on any socials, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, they will all be linked in the description below. I am very interactive with you guys. I have another video idea planned um, that is going to include you guys. So I definitely want to make sure that you are following me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, wherever. So Jackie primed her lid with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, which I do use very often. This is the shade Coco, which is like my perfect match in case I have any blemishes or like dark spots or anything like that on my face that I wanna correct. My highlight shade is um, Chai. So I'm gonna take a very generous amount of that on the back of my hand. Now, I did wanna point out that I did do the rest of my face already. So that's all complete, like all the way. Um, except for my lips, obviously. I, have, I don't have anything on my lips yet. So I definitely believe in the idea that the lighter your eyelid is prior to applying for, um, eyeshadow, the better, you know. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more to get a little bit more up close in person and so that you guys can see the actual shadow come to life. So the first thing Jackie did in her video was took the color Pinker and she worked that into her crease. So I'm gonna do the same thing that she did. I'm gonna take pink gray, I'm just gonna stipple that. Out. Something that I noticed that I did a lot, that I do a lot, sorry, in my videos, is like, I legitimately, I cover my face too much. Like I'm probably doing it right now, see? Yeah. I just have to be mindful of that. I really gotta try to be mindful of the fact that like, I'm filming makeup content. The primary goal when doing such a thing is to make sure that people can see your face. Taking Pinker in the crease. But I just wanna talk really quickly about how, like, what this palette means to me. Like this palette came out when I first started getting experimental, like really truly getting experimental with makeup. Like I, I was doing makeup before, but not often and not to the extent that I started to do it when I got this palette. Like when I got this palette, I really felt this creative surge, just shockwave through my body. It's, it's just the way that Anastasia format formulates their palettes. Like this, Anastasia is the most pigmented palette. Anastasia and Pat McGrath have the most pigmented palettes to me. And this is not, even something that's up for debate. So she pulls the transition color all the way into her inner corner. So I'm gonna do the same thing in the spirit of following her tutorial and seeing how it comes out, you know? She went and diffused the edges with a fluffy brush. So that's what I'm doing. I'm diffusing the outer edge of that transition color. I'm using the Morphe and a 441 brush to do so. The thing about Wigglies that I am obsessed with is that it came out of nowhere for me. When I went to this dinner, I put Wigglies on my brush. I was doing a red smoky eye. I put in something I'd never done before. Never done a smoky eye before. Obviously, they're the easiest thing to do. So I really wasn't too concerned about how it would look, but 
I had never done a smoky eye before. I'd never done anything red on my lid before. I never dipped into Wigglies ever before in my life. And when I did, you guys, there's no coming back from this. You don't get a color like this. You just don't, you don't, you just don't get a color like this. Like this just doesn't happen in real life. This is only for the movies. For this color to look this good against my complexion is like, uh, it's a crime. I believe in Wigglies supremacy on this channel, okay? I just wanted to point that out. I just want to put that out there. So the next step that she does is she takes credit on the outer most part of her eye. And she works that into her crease. scared of because whenever I do moments like this where I do a half cut right I never touch the half cut but I trust you Jackie and I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it because you said so so I'm going for it okay looks so good like look at here and look at here like wow that just took it there like when I tell you how Jackie is a genius she's she's a mastermind like she's really a genius it was Narvina herself that was like girl you need one color that is for the girl who wants color and alas Supreme was born everybody said thank you Narvina I'm pleased and I personally, I'm even gonna go as far as to, now, don't get too carried away y'all, but I'm gonna go as far as to put pinker and blend credit into Wigglies with it. I'm gonna go that far. I mean, look at the material. All right, that is this eye look all complete. I had so much fun doing this video. Oh my God, I think I, this is the most fun I've actually had filming a video since I started YouTube, like, and that's saying a lot. So that's how you, I mean, I just, it's really refreshing to feel that passion back. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel, I feel so back. I feel so alive again. Anyway, this, I'm not gonna go into a rant because yeah, that's not what we're here for. I had so much fun filming this video. I hope that you guys had fun watching the video. Oh my goodness. How do we feel about the look? Like, how are we feeling? Because I'm living. I want to thank um, Jackie Ina so, so much for creating this palette. I need to order some more before they sell out because when they stop carrying that palette, I might go into cardiac arrest. But that is the look all complete. I'm going to hit and get the lips and everything off camera. I hope that you guys had so much. I hope you guys had fun watching this video. I had a ton of fun filming it. I am head over heels in love with this look. I'm head over heels in love with the palette. I definitely plan on doing more makeup related content here on my channel. So if that's something that you're interested in, please, please stick around. Do not forget to subscribe down below. Come back, join me in my YouTube journey, my makeup journey, and all these different things. Uh, I would love to have you guys. I would love to share some experiences with you guys and, you know, connect with people. So thank you. Um, for those of you guys who watched this video, if you enjoyed it, please do not forget to, oh, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, do not be afraid to give it a big thumbs up down below. Um, I would very much so appreciate it. It is a uh, validation, you know, not in the sense of like, you know, seeking validation from others, but it's validation that I'm on the right track and it 
is the validation that you guys are enjoying the content. Um, if you're not already following me on all my social media, that'll be linked in the description, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, all in the description. I'm very active on all platforms. Well, not so much TikTok, like, I'm on TikTok, you know, but I definitely have plans for my TikTok account. So um, stay tuned for that. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.